money, 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 so give it up for Mayweather, welcome back! All right, can we take your seat, gentlemen? So after a year since your last visit to the Philippines, how does it feel to be back? Um, first, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone. I want to say thank you to the whole Philippines, all islands. I know it's over 7,000 islands. I just want to say thank you for the support. Um, the support of Manny Pacquiao, the support of Front Row. Yeah. You guys are unbelievable. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you for supporting me also. So you guys are just, like I said before, truly, truly marvelous. Thank you so much, Phil. And we thank you for being thank here you. with us and choosing us. Yeah. So um, behind Front Row are generous and kind-hearted uh, founders, Sam Versace right here and RS to Great. your right who were both awarded as the most outstanding businessman of the year just yes. recently. As an overachieving athlete and entrepreneur, what can you say about teaming up with like-minded individuals when it comes to business and helping others? How has it been collaborating with RS and Sam? It's been truly unbelievable. We talked about coming together before when I first came to the Philippines. I talked about coming back to the Philippines to do business and to join forces with Front Row. I mean, I, I, I honestly feel I couldn't join forces with two better guys. They're all about giving back. They're all, front Row is all about giving back. Front Row is about being positive and, and believing. If you can believe, you can make it happen. And that's what Front Row does. They turn non-believers into believers. And they got to where they got to by believing. You do share the same vision as Front Row. And now let's hear it from RS and Sam. This question's for both of them. How happy are you that Mayweather is back? And why do you feel that he is the perfect endorser for Front Row? Well, first of all, uh, I think I, all I can say is I'm speechless. But of course, it's a question I need to answer this. So more than speechless, I'm forced to say something that I'm, I'm very much elated and euphoric. In fact, we can call it an or orgasmic. To meet this guy, <laughs> oh my God, undefeated, the most dominant and the most powerful athlete here in the world, no question. Yeah, thank you. To be with front row, oh my God. All I can say is, oh my God, that's it. Yeah. As for me, I've been with Floyd last year. We went to different places in the Philippines. We went through all the malls here in the Vanilla, went shopping, went bonding, we went to the beach, and uh, I even went to Vegas to visit him at his club. So yeah. we had so much bond, we we have so much uh, uh, common uh, denominators, we both, uh, we're both entrepreneurs, we both help people, we inspire people, and that's why we're very lucky and happy that Floyd is back here, back with Front Row, the first, co the first company who brought him here, and now he's back, and now, we're speechless and we're so happy. Yeah. So thank and you know, you Sam, you know what I like about Floyd is, aside from him being the number one athlete and you know the most powerful and most influential, this guy really knows how to enjoy life. Exactly. Yeah. He knows yeah. how to enjoy life. And that's what we practice in front row, right? Well, um, the first time, you know, like when I came to the Philippines, um, it was always my dream to come here. <clears throat> it was always my dream to come to the Philippines. Um, you guys made it happen along with James Dayop and Mayor Keith Larico. You know, a lot of people don't know that there's two close people that work for me. That's Filipino. And one of my closest friends, my assistant, Mayor Keith Larico, she's Filipino. And my videographer right here, uh, James Dayup. So they play, they, play, they play a major, major part with bringing me to the Philippines. On a, on a regular, and I want to continue to come back to the Philippines be, to join and, and and keep building my strong relationship with Front Row. And I'm, I'm very, very proud of Front Row. And everyone should be proud of Front Row and uh, support them, support them, support, them, support us. Cause we're we're a team. So I just want to say congratulations. You guys are remarkable. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Now the next question is for you again, Floyd. Yes, no yes. <laughs> Being in the business of changing people's lives through their um, multi-awarded health and beauty products, charity uh, projects, and through a business platform that allows other people to become entrepreneurs, how important do you feel as a front row in the lives of people? Every life counts. And that's what we talk about. We spoke about before, when I first came to the Philippines. Every life count. It's about giving back. Front row has made a lot of money, but they also have gave back in order to charities. So I will continue to give back with, with, the, with these two. Because I'm a part of the front row. Yes, yes. You know, uh, every life count. Every life around the world counts. So it's not just about changing lives in the U.S. with myself and giving back in the U.S. You know, it's about traveling the world because I'm a world. I'm a major figure around the world. Yes. It's about giving back around the world. And by me joining forces with them and taking their company to the next level, we're gonna, we're going to continue to give back. And I want to just say, like, I'm. I'm proud of these two. Thank you, thank you. It's all about giving back, yeah. So apart from everything else that you just mentioned, knowing that you're very meticulous when it comes to choosing endorsements, what made you decide to become front of, part of Front Row? I've done my homework. Before I get involved with anything, I must do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my homework. And front row, the company, just period. You guys got the, the will to win. It don't have to it don't have to be in sports, but just in life. And y'all give people that encouragement. Y'all give people that drive. And I have the same outlook on life. To have that will to win, that drive. That's why, you know, I've lasted twenty three years, you know, in my sport. Because I had that will to win. And just communicate communicating with them. Um, because a lot of times, like I said, we only see the end results. We don't see how it all started from the ground up. Yes. And the front row, they're going to continue to grow, they're going to continue to build, and they're going to continue to give back and make people believe in what, I mean, they're going to they gonna have people believe in whatever you want to believe in. And like, whatever you want to believe in, like, you can achieve. If you want to go to that next level, Surround yourself with positive people and surround yourself with believers. And I surrounded myself with front row because they are believers. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very much. Yes. Front row will do this with you. He really did his homework. Yes, he did. <laughs> so hard work and dedication is your favorite, most used phrase when it comes to motivating people. Yes. As an inspiration to many, what message would you like to impart to all the front row distributors out there who are striving and working hard to reach their dreams like he wants did? Follow these two. Follow their blueprint. Support them. In invest in them. Then you become an entrepreneur and people will invest in you. So they didn't get to where they got to overnight. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of prayers, a lot of belief, and, and they joined forces. It's a good team. And that's what I did. Awesome. Yeah. I didn't know because I remember Floyd, we just last year we came we came out with a song. We we teamed up with uh, the number one rap group here. It's called Follow My Lead. So exactly what you just said. I mean Follow the blueprint. Yeah. Yeah, follow the blueprint. Oh my god. Guys, hard work? Yeah. Hard work? Yeah. They're all speechless. <laughs> <laughs> They're holding their phones. They're holding their phones. You know, I can remember, remember myself. You know, we all have, before, like I said before, we only see the end results. I can remember me, seven of us, seven of us living in a one bedroom, no hot water. Kept believing, kept believing, kept working hard, and um, surrounding myself with the right people. But it all started at home. You know, you have the dream first. And if someone else has the same dream and the same will to win as you, and y'all join forces, you guys can be un unstoppable. That's why Front Row is unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. All right, 
so you stated in your previous shoot with us that you have to be in the front row. So now allow me to ask, why does the undefeated and undisputed Floyd Mayweather have to be part of front row? Why not? Why not? You know, this is simple. Yeah. simple. Yeah. Why not? Yes. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you know, these guys are young. These guys are young, ambitious, and the will to win. And of course, they like they like to fight their things in life, like myself, but also, it's not always about me. It's about everyone else also. We, I like to, you know, when it's, when it's young fighters, you know, I never got involved as a promoter in the sport of boxing to make money off a young fighter. I wanted to see those young fighters become champions and accomplish their dreams and, and have the will to win also. It's called a domino effect. So uh, right here, right here, you got three guys sitting in front row with the will to win, and we want to help people. Yes. Actually, I have a question, Floyd. Uh, this is a personal question. I'm sure when you were starting your career as yes. a boxing, boxing athlete and all that, you faced so many rejections. I'm so sure you've faced so many trials. Yes. What can we give? What challenges and rejections and all that? What can we give to those viewers? here in front row who have been rejected and who are feeling down and out but we know that we're losing heart but we know that they can do it we know that they, they have that potential to shine don't give up don't give up keep fighting keep fighting keep believing keep striving to be the best and that's exactly what i did i kept striving to be the best i kept believing i kept working hard and um you know uh my dreams came true so um, I want everyone in the Philippines, just around around the world, because we want to touch lives all around the world. Yes. Keep believing in front row. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. It's yeah. such a blessing that you are Thank part you. of front row. And now we have some friends from the press who would like to ask their questions as well. I know they've yes. been waiting. So first, I would like to call on Ms. Maylene Lazada from spin.ph um, to join me here to ask her question. Hi, sir. Good evening. Welcome to the How you doing? Sir, first of all, um, although you've already retired from boxing, but there's, there are still so many people who are clamoring for a rematch between you and Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Can you expect a rematch anytime? Um, um, I had a great career. Manny Pacquiao had a great career. He's an unbelievable fighter. Um, I'm a businessman. And uh, my focus right now is just front row. Yeah. Yes. And sir, one more question, sir. Um, what other plans do you have in mind in regards to, as you said, you're a businessman right now, but do you still have plans on uh, boxing maybe? Maybe uh, promote? promote? I'm promoting my fighters, but what I'm working on now is uh, my son, uh, my youngest son, going to college, um, becoming an entrepreneur. Uh, my other, my oldest son is working on his music and he's modeling. And uh, my youngest daughter, well, my oldest daughter is also working on uh, her music. And so, you know, it's about giving back to family also. So that's, that's, you know, that's my focus as of right now. Uh, boxing, I will always be involved with boxing to give back to young fighters. So family comes first right now for you, sir. I mean, I'm just saying that was just, you know, that's what I'm focused on. You know, tomorrow I can feel, feel a little different about boxing, but as of right now, that's just, you know, my, how I feel. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good evening. I'm Rafi from GMA. Um, that has, uh, my, my question is uh, a follow-up of, uh, of the last question. So money will not be a factor in uh, making a second uh, Manny Pacquiao Mayweather fight? Uh, Manny Pacquiao is, is um, a hell of a fighter. Um, we had a great fight. Um, and we both, you know, uh, we both had great careers. You know, uh, you know, we, it's, you know, we move on and do other things in life. And um, I'm an entrepreneur. I don't just box inside the ring. You know, I, I had, like I said before, I had a fun time, I was fighting, great time. But you know, um, I do so many other things. I'm a chameleon, you know, yes. I can adjust and adapt to many different things on 
outside the ring, and I got big businesses on the outside. That's why I still live the same life. So even if it challenges you, uh, you won't watch your uh, decision? Um, like I said before, my, my life is great. I'm positive. I wish many nothing but the best. And um, as of right now, it's all about front row. Yes. Yeah. Uh, last, yeah. last question on my end. Um, how would you describe the boxing scene right now? With you being quiet, retired, guys, quiet. you think uh, some excitement has uh, gone from boxing since you retired? Oh, well, you know, there's so many great fighters out there that I'm working with. You know, um, Manny Pacquiao is, of course, working you know, on our side now. He's no longer with top rank, so he's working with us. Um, uh, he just fought Adrian Broner. That's a fight that I, that I put together. And um, like I said before, Manny Pacquiao is a hell of a fighter. And the Philippines is a great place. And you guys produce one legendary champion. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Um, sir, um, knowing the Philippines is um, the other side of the world, did this somehow affect your decision to join Front Row to be part of this family? Um, you, you told us earlier that um, giving back is one of the missions of Front Row that made you say yes. But did it somehow affect your decision to be part of Front Row? What do you, what do you like knowing again? it's at the other side of the world. Well, um, well I'm worldwide. Um, you know, I, I feel like the earth is my turf. So I give back wherever I go. Yes. You know, um, I, I, we, well, I'm in America giving back every day. Um, I don't have to glorify it or tell the world. This is what I do every day. Well, I'm giving back every day. And when you're doing it with good intentions, you don't have to talk about it. So when I'm in America, I give back all the time, but I don't talk about it. And over here, even though we're talking about it, is because these are my bit these are my business partners. You know, I just let the people know that I'm worldwide. You know, I have business partners in Africa. I give back in Africa. Um, of course, I'm gonna give back in America first because that's where, you know, uh, I was born. I was born in America. Uh, born and raised in America. Uh, of course, you gotta give back to your own first. But I'm worldwide, and I give back all around the world. In front row. Um, this is not our first time sitting down. You know, uh, these guys came over and met with me in the U.S. I came over here and met with them. Uh, we talked about it, we talked about it, and uh, uh, actually I've done some shoots for them before, uh, photo shoots, and um, we, we had to join forces. You know, it's a re it, this was a relationship that had to happen, yeah, so we did it. And it doesn't have to be on social media. Yeah. So even even like um, I don't have to go on social media to talk about what I've done or what Front Row has done. The world is going to come. We're going to show the world by results. Yes. yes. By making yes. people happy yes. and by making people accomplish what they want to accomplish in life, fulfilling people's dreams. With that said, what can we expect from you now that you're part of Front Row? Um, I'm going to push. I'm going to help push. When it's yes. something positive and it's something great. It's all about pushing, and that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Thank you so much. Actually, I'd like to add also, it doesn't matter where you are in front row. We have um, offices in Dubai and Singapore, um, Canada, Canada Korea. Korea. So, uh, you know, for all you know, in a year or two, we're going to have in the U.S. and all that. And as I, we always say in front row, dreams don't have, um, what do you call it, uh, borders. Dreams don't have borders. You can, you can dream and you can be far away and you can help and you can do your own little thing everywhere, anywhere. Yeah. Like, like he said, he's, yeah. he's Mr. Worldwide. So. Dreams and inspirations don't have boundaries. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And next, of course, Ms. Diane. We also have a few questions. Hey, Diane again. Hi, hi, Paul. Welcome hi. back. Well, you've seen the amazing reception that you, uh, you know, from everywhere you go in the Philippines. Yes. Not only the Philippines, around the world. Yeah, around sure. Or the universe. Yeah. The earth is your turf. I like that. Yeah. Uh, any uh, impressions that you've had uh, on your second visit now compared to your first visit and what would it take to get you back here a third time? Uh, well, these, um, you know, with me traveling the world, this is one of the most, the, the people are so loving and so positive. You know, um, 
You know, in the U.S., you know, you have a lot of support, but the Philippines is nothing but love and so many positive people. Yeah. So, I, you know, I love it here. Oh. So I will be back. Yes. So nice to hear that from, from the undisputed oh, yeah. champion. Yeah. Oh, my God. And what uh, makes you decide which country you're going to hop to next, Floyd? I'm really curious about that. I follow you because, because I want to see... stalk you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm Peach's friend you. and James. I mean, just how do you decide? I mean, I know you have your pilots on standby, you know, like, what what, what call do you look at Google? Do you start think, researching? I don't know where my pilots at. I think they're here. The pilots are there. Where's, Who my, made? where's my pilots? They're there. Where are they? You know, Cheers. You know, maybe it's the globe. Tell them to come over here. Yeah, where are the pilots? Let's introduce the pilots here. Yes. Yes. So everybody meet the pilot of Floyd. Introduce them, Floyd. This gentry. Of course, he's your first other one. What is he here? There's Dan. You go Dan. Dan. Dan, join us. Where AJ? Join us. Join us. Oh, the other one, AJ. AJ, my other pilot that was, AJ was here before Dan and Gentry. So um, we have another pilot that we use, which is Patrick. A lot of times we use Patrick also, but these are my pilots that travel with me on a daily basis. And of course, they're young, uh, great guys. Looking. Uh, they're young, great guys. And um, they got the will to win. Also, we travel the world. I don't know how many countries we have been in the last, what, 24 months? I mean, Dan. Probably at least 24. So I've been 24. 24 in the last? 24 months. In the last 24 countries, the last 24 months. Just on on this trip, I think we, we was in we was in I think we was in London, and we went to Manchester. You, then we went to Dubai, then we went to Abu Dhabi, then we went back to Dubai, then Maldives, and then Manila, then Boracay, then back to Manila. So uh, we, we don't know what's next. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> You know, it's so funny because, Floyd, we have this, in the Philippines, we have this impression of you guys. Uh -huh. When you wake up, you just meet together and you're like, okay, let's get the globe, let's spin it, and wherever <laughs> finger stops, yeah, let's go there. Is well, it, how, how true is that? Well, I heard so, about that. Well, this, well, this is how it works. It happened the other day. I, mean, I had to bring the map out for Chan. There. And he's like... Uh, uh, looking over here. Uh, where's a nice place? Right here. Yeah, where's a nice place to go? Oh. We, we like it. We really uh, enjoy, how is that, border guy? Well, you know, we really had fun, something different, a different beach, because we've been to almost every beach around the world. So we compare different beaches. Uh, they have nice beaches in the Caribbean also, so we've been everywhere. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure every place that you go to, you not just visit, but you also help and inspire the countrymen, the, the people there. I'm so but sure. But these guys, you know, he like to work out. He like to play chess. Oh, and I thought, uh, um, yeah, let's play chess later. We don't just play a volleyball. Yeah, we were playing beach volleyball yesterday. Beach volleyball yesterday. Yeah, yeah. 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 enjoying life. Yes. Oh my God. So and, and they're, they're very very positive. Have a positive team. So as long as these guys are positive and get rest, yeah, they're gonna keep flying. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you call enjoying right. life. Yeah. The Floyd Money Mayweather way. Well, what you got to say, Jim? Say something. I love this job. It's a pleasure to fly the champ around the world. We're, we're always ready to go for him 100%. And uh, Manila's been great to us. Uh, this is our second time here. Dan and I, you guys are just great here. Thank you. Yeah, you know, we have, it takes a lot of energy to fly champ around the world, but we feed off of his energy, you know, that everybody gets um, wherever we go, you know. So um, we appreciate the love here in Manila and the Philippines. Uh, everybody's so kind and you know very welcoming. So, thank you. I have a question. How does it feel flying for the champ? Well, I mean, does it give you jitters? Like, oh my God, the no, champ is no, here. No, the world like, champ is here. Well, or you, you know, just have fun. Hey, where do you want to go? Team is, we, I built the friendship with these guys. Yeah. I don't look at them as just employees. Yeah. These are my friends. Family. Yeah, family and friends. What we do, um, we talk, we communicate, we, of course, uh, no. Well, I know, you know, the Philippines love basketball, so we go to a lot of NBA NBA games yeah. also, you know. Um, they're part of my life, so they have to be able to, they have to enjoy the experiences also. Yes, that's true. You know, they can't just fly and then don't, be able, to, don't be able to enjoy 
enjoy the experience. So we had a party tonight, and we're not flying out right away, so they can have a drink. Yeah. Yeah. Is that party with us over here? Yeah, yes. of course. Yes. Tonight we will party also. Yes, G. We will celebrate. Okay, so um, yeah, anyone I'm sure else? that um, all the questions have been asked, but they do want. Oh, and I want to say thank anyone, you. Anyone else? I want to say thank you too. Oh. Thank you, Diane, because she's been covering. I mean, I've been yeah. seeing her for so many years. Come to the U.S. Come to my boxing gym for media day. And um, when no one else was coming to the U.S., she was the only Filipino person that was coming to the U.S. And she would, she would be the only person I would give an interview to because she was so kind and polite and such a nice lady. So I just want to say thank you. Yeah, she's really like that. Diane's really... Thank you. I love your athleticism. I've always said you are the most athletic athlete I've ever covered in my life. So can athletic I just... Athlete. Give, ask well, you your, know, Floyd, can I, I just ask your best fitness tip? Where I'm a fitness buff, we all want to get oh, fit. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you stay fit, Floyd, to handle your I life? Party. You said that. My two parties gonna believe it now because they see me turn into a, a new person when we just gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm just we, glad we didn't be in the ring, Jay. Listen, we was playing beach volleyball and I turned into an animal. It was like, who is this? Competitive. Always competitive. Always. Yeah, but how do you say fit, Floyd? I know you don't drink or smoke. It's funny. I mean, I've seen you in that when we were in Davao, Palawan. You're eating healthy. Yeah, a little bit. I like this. You know, I like to. You know, I like to eat <laughs> junk food. A little bit. Any Filipino food that you like? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. My lunch. I don't know. Chicken in the south. Chicken in the south. Yeah. Yeah. Afritada. <laughs> Afritada kitchi. Afritada is he likes afritada. Yes. Look forward to have to seeing you back in the gym maybe one day. Yes, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Also, um, is there any message that um, to, to those aspiring athletes who want to to excel in uh, their dreams? What does Floyd have to say? Um, this what I have to say, and I really got to where I got to because if I was I was driven. I the world to win just in life. And I knew from day one, from day one, when I first went to the boxing gym, that's what I, that's what I wanted to do. You know, it I was passionate, and that's what I loved. And when I was 14, or I think I was probably 14 or 15, I was going to turn professional. But I had patience, and I, and I waited, I waited. And I knew by the time I went to the Olympic Games when I was 19, I knew I was, I was the best, you know, in the sport. Hands down, I knew I was the best because a lot of fighters was talented. I was God gifted. And I don't care how talented, how talented a person are, when you God gifted, it's, 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 it is what it is. It's just the gift that I had, and um, just, but even though I had a gift, I did other things I knew fighters wouldn't do. You know, I go to the boxing gym and I I go twice a day, and um, I will run farther than the other fighters. Um, I will study more film than other fighters, and I will push myself to to limits to where I couldn't push myself. I, I pushed myself to limits to where I knew that um, I didn't want to leave, leave no doubt that I want to leave my mark that I was the best. So I never called myself a celebrity. I never called myself a celebrity. Uh, I always call myself a legendary icon because when I'm long gone, you know, my, my legacy will live on. Yeah. You know, and I always like, even like the films, and you see, you see the films right here, uh, the videographers and all these, Every, all the cameras, we will all be gone. We will all be gone someday, but this film will live forever, yeah. and my legacy will live forever. And it's all about the mark that we leave. And everybody, God has given everybody a gift. You just have to find your gift. Very, very well said, Floyd. Wow! Oh my God! Let's give it up for Floyd. And, and to all the million of uh, viewers that we have now, who are, um, what can you say about? 
the millions of viewers who are watching now that who are who want to be part of front row but having second thoughts. Come on, come aboard. Yeah. Come aboard, front row. Join this team. We are unstoppable. I'm with the front row. So should, so should you. Um, I believe. I believed in them. They believed in me. We joined forces. Come join the front row. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh my God. Champ. Any final questions? Uh, 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 any any Sam? You wanna ask anything? I think we got everything. Would you like to say any um, last parting words? Yeah. To, I just want to say to thank. I just, I just want to say As thank you. everyone that's tuning in. Thank you. Support the movement. It's all about giving back. And uh, these guys right here came from nothing to something, and you all can do the same. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bonnie. Me, weather.